Hello there! This will be a pretty quick video on simply how to port an animation from Blender into Ocarina of Time Online as an emote for said thing. <laughs> uh, this is not a tutorial on how to actually put the emote into the game as like a ROM hack, this is simply just for emote purposes because I know people wanted to do that. Uh, in the description I've also linked a handful of things that'll be pretty important to have, so I would suggest getting some of those and uh, have fun doing dance things, I guess. This section of the video is going to go over the plugin to transfer animations to Link. Uh, if you already have an animation on Link's armature, uh, you can skip this section and go into the next one for exporting to emote usage. But for now, I'm just going to show how to export and all that fun stuff. So uh, here I have an animation for Darunia. Uh, pretty simple. Well, it's a bunch of them stitched together from the game, but this is uh, just what we're going to start with. And I want to put this on Link. So first things first, I'm going to put him into his rest position. I'm going to make Link visible. And the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that Link's pose matches the rest pose of the character's animation we want to take from. So I'm just going to do clear transform all. So I believe the only major difference is that uh, Darunia's hands actually do not face upwards, so I am simply going to get his hand bones and uh, rotate them 90 and 90. Easy peasy, lemon squizzy, I believe. Uh, we also want to make sure that all the other bones that Link has are how we want them. So I'm going to do 130, and for the sheath, uh, I get an E, and then uh, what was it? It was like, oh, it was one fifty. Looks about right. It's probably wrong, but you know it's close enough. <laughs> So I'm just going to make sure uh, Gurney is facing his head, his hands are out. Alright, I probably cut there, but uh, yes, I have Link's pose exactly how I want it to be. Now, uh, we are going to go to the plugin here, which I did link in the description, as well as the original video. Uh, that's more for actually putting it into the game. This is for email purposes, as I said. <laughs> so source, we're going to take from SK, that one. And target, we're going to take from to skeleton, which is Link's skeleton. So now we just need to figure out which bones are which. It shouldn't be too bad. That's uh, going to take a little bit of finicking. So essentially, uh, this might not be as obvious here. On the left side are Darunia's bones, and on the right side we have to pick the bones that match up with Link's. How you figure that out, you're just gonna have to play with it. Like, if there's one labeled hips, make it like, I don't know, limb one or limb two, maybe. And if there's like a leg, make it three and all that. Just, this is the one you're just gonna have to play with. Uh, figure it out, look at the weight paints and all that, which one looks like it matches up, and go with it. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so I have my bones lined up here, Once there's all those arms and legs and all that. Uh, I did rotate him just for a temporary, just to see if it looked... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, make sure that every single bone here is listed as Quaternion, WXYZ here in the rotation, which you can view just by that little plus. Otherwise, that bone will not rotate at all in the animation in-game, so you want to make sure they're all Quaternion, and not XYZ or whatever. You have to actually move them manually, I'm afraid. <laughs> but uh, once we have... Oh, and well, that's a rig. We want to simply make both skeletons visible, and then generate meta-rig. 
now. Theoretically, Link should now be doing the Dirty animations. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, uh, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, that didn't really work out as I had hoped. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is the part where, uh, uh, we make the bones invisible again, we delete the meta rig, and, uh, we try again. <laughs> okay, so I decided that I'm gonna live with this for now, but I'm gonna fix it later. That makes sense, right? Hey, hold on, better idea. <laughs> Alright, so I've decided that I'm just gonna fix uh, Muppet Link later. <laughs> uh, right now, I gotta show you how to put this actually onto Link's armature, because right now, it is simply a meta rig, which means it's not actually Link's animation, it's just kind of retargeting. So I'm going to select Link Skeleton, I'm going to hit Pose, I'm going to hit Animation, and we're going to hit Bake Action. We're going to unclick that, do Visual Keying, Pose, and then hit OK. After a little bit, it's going to finish up, and we can simply make that visible, delete Meta Rig. And now, we simply have the armature here. So now we have Link's arm. now we have an animation for Link's armature. Easy, flippin' peasy. So once you have an animation on Link's armature, literally all we have to do is select Rig Mesh, also select Skeleton, File, Export, do the normal objects, uh, Selection Only. Uh, down here, don't click anything other than Selection Only. Or not selection only, depending on how you do it. If you just want to just export everything. We just need the objects, it's going to spit out a thing we'll need. But do not hit this animation button. This does not give us what we need to turn it into an emote, so just... Yeah, just <laughs> it's out of thing for every frame. We don't want that, so just... Hit selection only or whatever. And uh, export object. Now... Not that one. This one. So this should give us a bunch of garbage. We want this thing here, the dot anim. So we're gonna open up anim to link, which I already have open, because I'm magic, and we are going to go to the uh, folder with the anim in it. Now there's gonna be a lot of things here, probably depending on how many animations your thing actually had. What we literally just need to do is we need to go back into our blend, go to dope sheet. Uh, this will be on Dope Sheet. Change it to Action Editor, and the Link's active animation should just be called Action right now. So we are simply going to make an action, hit Floor Plane Compensation, and then hit Export. That should give us a thing. So, in the Anim to Link folder. So, in the Anim to Link folder, we should now have a file called action.bin. Or whatever the animation was called dot bin uh, we are simply going to paste this into our emote template there <laughs> and we should going to rename blah, blah. And now we're gonna go into the package uh, we're gonna call this uh, Durunia dies. And the name is going to be called Durunia dies, but it's the link. In the anim spot, this is where we put our dot bin, and in the sound spot, we're going to want to get an aug in here. Preferably an aug, at least, because those tend to take up the least amount of space, but whatever works. Here I just have a good old lostpain.org. We're just gonna put that right there. Lost pain. Yep. 
Uh, it looks like everything's good. Compression, you can change this to either dot pack, dot zip, whatever works for you. Uh, I'll keep it as a zip because I am lazy. And finally, the most important part of any mod. Editing the icon. Which I'm simply just going to make give me a face because this is pain. And now we can simply just throw it in game as a zip or a pack, test it, whatever. So I shall see you in the game. Except we're not done yet. I'm probably gonna go through this section pretty quickly because by the time this video comes out, or like sometime later, there's gonna be a way better version of doing face animations. Uh, this is just how I'm doing them. And uh, don't do my way. I just find this easiest because I don't want to make a flipping tool to do it for me. <laughs> So, uh, essentially, first thing I should point out is that here is the bin that we created with Anim2 Link in a hex editor. I'm using HXD for the record. And if we do G, we go to the 86 offset. This is the byte for the first frame's face. Since every single frame is 86 bytes, and the last frame is always what his face is going to be. To find out what his face is going to be, we simply need to find out what each number is. So, first things first, the first zero in this one byte is his mouth. So zero, one, two, three, four. If I want him to smile, I would start with four. And then for the mouth, for the eyes, which is the second byte, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I want to have closed eyes, I'd simply make the second number be 3 for closed. Easy peasy. So that means on this very, this only this frame, he would be smiling with closed eyes. Now, I'm not going to go through every single frame. So simply what I'm going to do is I'm in my blender, I added markers to where like which each frame I want his face to change. This will probably be a lot more complex depending on how you want to do it later, but since this is a very simple animation that I'm literally only making to show off the video, he still breaks. I, I'm not fixing that. I love that. Uh, well, we'll just kind of roll with it, right? So, yeah. So, in the first frame up until 53, I think? Yeah. We'll make it be 11. So, in order to actually do this instead of going frame by frame, Go into Notepad++, and I'm going to paste all of the hex, and I'm going to go all the way to the back, go my Control F, replace, and I'm basically going to separate every line by its frame. So if I, since I copy pasted all the hex into Notepad++, every 402 characters would be a new frame and or a new line. I just replace that with what is essentially the code for a new line, and then I'd set all the stuff down here. If you're doing it with my method, uh, first of all, don't. But second of all, just make sure you have this all set up. Alright, yeah, replace all. Now, we should have this. And of course, every single thing here is its own frame. So I'm going to hold out, and I'm going to select all the way down to the 11th frame. I got say 11 because I want to have a normal face and a normal mouth. We're going to select down to 11. That all 11. Then, if I remember right, 53. We're going to make this frame 53. Copy. We're going to go all the way over to 691. So, I'm going to scroll down to frame 691. Actually, stick down to frame 690, since 691 is when it changes, but whatever. Yeah, now it's all 53. Make this 13. And then just do the same till the very end. And then, I would simply just copy all the hex, shove it back into here. And that is my really dumb method of doing facial animations. You can imagine it gets a lot more complex the more like different faces you want to set. 
But like, that's essentially just how I do it. It's dumb. I would not recommend doing it. But it works for me. <laughs> so, I shall see you all in game now. With our super dumb... Super dumb thing. Uh, yeah. Alright, and here we are in game. Uh, as you see, I've got my good old Daruni up, as well as our emote. I'm just gonna get into a good camera position and watch this guy die. And it is very uh, functional. Uh, link to the song in the description. So it's a pop. <laughs> yeah. But you're not here to see Daruni dance, you're here to, uh, See some things, other things dance, like Luigi. Please don't die. I hate it. <laughs> oh, okay, well. And he's angry now. So yeah, the animation itself is broken, but you get the idea on how to do it. <laughs> uh, this is not a tutorial on how to animate, this is just a tutorial on how to transfer animations. Because by all means, it worked. The transfer worked just fine, it's just that Darunia's skeleton is dumb when transferring the links. That's expected. There's some manual editing that'll need to be done. Or I won't do it because I'm lazy and I love this, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, that was how to make emotes with face anims and all that garbage. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to show you an actually good emote instead of uh, this thing that I made in like 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, have a good day. There's no time for indecision